you will also encounter the following formula for if the given is the parts of the regular polygon and we have the formula to get the distinct number of distinct diagonals we have n quantity n minus 3 all over 2 and if you want to get the number of diagonals in one vertex that is n minus 3 each exterior angle if you want to get each exterior angle of a regular polygon that is 360 over n And you will also encounter the following formula. If you want to get the number of distinct diagonals, you will need the formula n quantity n minus two n minus three all over. And you will also encounter the following formula in our regular polygon. If you want to get the number of distinct diagonals, then the formula you're going to use is n quantity n minus 3 all over 2. And if you want to get the number of diagonals in one vertex, n minus 3 will be the formula. If you want to get each exterior angle in a regular polygon, that is 360 over n n here is the number of sides and if you want to get the area given the apotem so apotem times the perimeter all over 2 to get the perimeter that is the measure of the side times the number of the side so let's say let's apply the formula number one find the number of diagonals in decagon so in decagon we know that you have 10 sides in decagon, right? Okay. Now, number of diagonals. So we're going to use this formula. To get the number of diagonals, number of diagonals, so we have n times n minus 3 all over 2. So our n is 10, substitute, times 10 minus 3 all over 2. Now we have 10 times 10 minus 3, that is 7, all over 2. I want to use cancellation method, so I can cancel 10 and 2. So this will become 5 times 7. So that is 34. So if you're going to draw diagonals in decagon, you will come up with 35 diagonals. Now, number 2. How many diagonals can you draw in one vertex of so one vertex so we're going to use this formula n minus 3 so triangle triangle has three sides so n minus 3 so n is 3 so 3 minus 3 that is 0 so we don't have diagonals in our triangle that's why we have 0 and octagon we know that octagon has 8 sides so we have 8 minus 3, that is 5. So from one vertex, if we're going to draw diagonals, then you can get 5 diagonals. Then decagon, 10 minus 3, that is 7. So 7 diagonals you can create in one vertex, or you can draw in one vertex. Now our last example, what is the area of a regular polygon with apotem 6 units and perimeter of 12 units so we have a, a formula here area is equal to apotem our apotem is 6 units times our perimeter is 12 all over 2 so use cancellation method so 12 and 2 we can cancel that so this will become 6 so 6 times 6 36 square units that will be the area. 36 square units. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.